Peace be with you, friends, and thank you, Ms. Guy, for this beautiful message of peace and hope that we hear in today's gospel. Now, if I can have attention, especially grade 12 students, uh, which will have the preference first, but also it looks like we'll be open to grade 11s. On May 22nd, we are offering a beautiful trip slash retreat to a place called Midland, which is kind of a couple of hours away from Hamilton towards the Georgian Bay, where the uh, historically and spiritually speaking, uh, the introduction of, of Christianity happened in Ontario. So for those of you who are, uh, like to explore a little bit of history and then experience something spiritual, that is for you. So it's a, a all day event uh, on, May, on Wednesday, May 22nd. A little bit more you can hear and see about it, just short in a short clip that uh, Mr. Madeiros put together. And if you have any information, you can ask him, this Mr. Madeiros or myself about it. So the, um, how to sign up and the time is uh, of uh, essence, so please let us know as soon as possible. Thank you, and take a look. Discover a hidden gem in Ontario's past. Sainte Marie among the Hurons, the first European community in Ontario. A testament to the French Jesuit mission, this settlement served as a beacon of faith to the Huron-Wendat people in the mid 17th century. Step into a bygone era, a time of cultural exchange and intellectual discourse between Europeans and indigenous peoples. Participate in a full day trip and retreat aptly named the Walk Where They Walked. Immerse yourself in an interdisciplinary experience that enriches your understanding of the First Nations people, the early modern history of Canada, and the roots of the Roman Catholic tradition. Engage in introspection, pondering your personal relationship with Jesus Christ in the context of this historic mission. A testament to the Catholic faith, this site is rich in history, standing as a beacon of the sacrifices made by Saint Jean de Brebeuf and his companions. Dress down for the day, prepare for indoor and outdoor activities and enjoy a pizza lunch on us. Travel in comfort aboard a coach bus, all for a nominal fee of $20 per student. Remember, many may never get this opportunity to witness history so intimately. So come, walk where they walked and experience the echoes of the past. Good morning, STM. My name is Kiara and here are your announcements for today. This is a message to all the students that have paid this cash online for the arts trip to Canada's Wonderland on May 22nd. You need to come to room 329 to get your form or you'll not be able to attend. Good morning, STM. Has a friend ever come to you for support and you didn't know how to help? Learn how to be there for a friend next time. The Night Shift crew invites you to join them for a Be There Training Certificate program on Monday, May 6, after school in the library. In this two-hour program developed by Jack.org, you will build knowledge and skills to help you and anyone struggling with their mental health. The program is free. Certificates, snacks, and community service hours will be provided. Sign-up forms are available in room 116, the Foods Room. Sign up today. There will be a junior co-ed volleyball practice Wednesday at 4.15. Thanks from your coaches. There's a practice for the STM Ultimate Frisbee team today after school on the side field. If the weather is bad, students are to meet in Portable 3. Today's practice is mandatory and in preparation for Thursday's tournament, which will be held at STM after school. Students with any questions or concerns should see Miss Alley or Mr. Castellani. Attention those who auditioned for the Diversity Talent Show. Please check your school email for results and accordingly attend the meeting today after school in the library. Those who signed up for the cultural fashion show also please attend the meeting today after school to confirm your participation. Prefect tutoring will take place today during your lunch periods. And now for your sports. The junior boys soccer team tied 1-1 their home opener against BR. The lone goal scored by Dino Artunez. Their game will be against BT Wednesday. Great game, boys. Thanks, STM. School's almost over and prefect applications are now open. You may not know this, but there are four committees in prefect. And today I have two members of the inclusion committee with me. What are three words to describe your committee? We are inclusive, fun, and creative. And what's your favorite memory with the committee? Planning activities for the life skills class. STM, get your applications in today. Look for the gummy bear album. And... Good morning, Knights. I'm Grace. And I'm Mia, and we're here from Student Council. Student Council elections are right around the corner. If you are interested in running, check out your grade level LMS page to see what positions are available. There are three new positions this year. There is a di diversity and inclusion rep, a junior athletic rep, and a senior athletic rep. 
More information about these new positions are posted on our, on our Instagram at STM underscore council. If you plan on running or are even on the fence about it, there is a mandatory candidate meeting on May 6th. This meeting will allow you to see if student council is the right fit for you. The student council election forms will be due on May 13th to the May, main office and the speeches and voting will take place on May 17th. We hope to see a lot of you running. That's all STM. Have a great day. STM, this older announcement. The time now is 8.22. And remember, it's a great day to be a night.